Hey guys, it's Kugli again with another ROM review and uh, this time I've got the one of a kind ROM for the Nexus 5. So stay tuned for that. So guys, this is a ROM from the XG Developers Forum and this is one of a kind as the name suggests. So it's really really cool. Now uh, most of you guys already know that Android 6 which is Marshmallow has been released onto the Android scene and well obviously Nexus 5 is a supported device. It does have the official version but uh, rather than uh, downloading the actual factory image which I'm actually downloading right now uh, I wanted to try that a bit quicker so I had this thing installed so you can get that here. So what you just saw there is the lock screen which is the normal lock screen which is pretty awesome it is really cool now the launcher is the nova launcher which is uh, which the developer has opted to in this rom because well nova launcher is one of the best launchers available in the android market and uh, yeah it's pretty awesome so you have a lot of options here uh, i would have liked to have the stock new google launcher which which is uh, which is a very improved version of the launcher which is already there so it's really really nice uh, let's go to the settings and see what all is available there the about phone page you can see it is android 6 and uh, you can see it has the new uh, easter egg which is a marshmallow with two horns with of whatever it is and that is the new flappy android game which you can see so that is really cool it is it is fun while it lasts and yes i made one let me see okay yeah that's it that's probably the highest i'm going to get through that so yeah it is available and you can see an m there so yeah it is marshmallow uh it does have the android security patch of october which is a monthly patch release for supported devices which is a really really nice feature and with the recent problems with uh, we, with whatever we were seeing with like stage fright stage fright 2.0 uh this is quite an essential inclusion into the operating system so that you can be protected from future attacks so that's really cool and as you can see the build number is changed which is the MRA58K which is the latest for the Nexus 5 uh, marshmallow so that is really cool this is the one of a kind build date which is the build date of this particular ROM this is the developer huge props to him so that's really cool so yeah this is it that is it in the about phone page now it does have a few personalization options which I'll be going through and it is minimal. This is as as close to stock as possible on a custom ROM and uh, if you don't have this option either, it'll be called a stock ROM. It's not a custom ROM. So yeah, let's go to the settings and first of all, you can see an about phone page, about the one of a kind ROM page. So you can uh, go for my tw uh, his Twitter account, his Google Plus account, uh, all the stuff from here. So it's really cool. Also, you have a volume uh, rocker to wake. Use the volume button to wake the device. You can have that if your power button is giving you trouble like my my device is giving me pr trouble right now so yeah three finger gesture for screenshot which does work out and it's really cool uh, it is it, it is nice to have and then the other settings menu in the display options you ha do have ambient display cast screen uh, front size selection all of that and now the marshmallow is such a new rom that even g apps package is not really stable right now so that is something which i want to address in this video uh, Right now, I have installed the GS package, which was there in the uh, the XGA forum this ROMs page, and I have installed that. But I still can't, could not use a few essential features of Marshmallow, like the on tab, Google on tab. I have actually enabled uh, Google now, but I couldn't actually enable Google now on this ROM. Uh, I had to sign in to a different account, and that's still not taking Google now to be enabled. So. I'm not really sure what to do if you know how to do this uh, please let me know so that i can try it out i have also tried a few other lollipop uh, marshmallow roms and uh, one of them google now was working but uh android on tab was not working so i'm not really sure when that will be working so uh google on tab is one of the most uh noticeable change in marshmallow which is going to be a really cool feature and at least for me because i can see so many applications for that so yeah 
In the other things which changed with Marshmallow, Do Not Disturb mode is a really really cool feature. Now, if you guys remember the fiasco with Lollipop, uh, if you turn down everything, it will turn off even the alarms. I mean, it, that was really cool. Now, this time it is alarm only and I mean, this is much much better and it's really really cool that people, uh, guys at Android have figured this out in this way because this can really really save you because I have, I personally have lost a lot of alarms because my phone was on um, uh, priority or whatever it was, whatever it was called in that one uh, and that was not the best way it should be. Now with the included package, uh, all of these apps which you see here are installed by me. I have Flash the G apps. I normally tend to not install G apps because uh, people have different different preferences and people can choose different G apps in uh, for their preferences. Now this being the only G apps package which is working with a Marshmallow ROM, I have chose to install that and yeah, it does work. Something which is a new thing in the uh, uh, in marshmallow is this one which is it asks for the permission every time an application asks for it that is really really cool and maybe people don't realize how much how good this is for the end consumer this will give people a choice and it is going to be really really cool so as in here uh, camera wishes to access the location if you don't want to give camera the location access you can deny that and that is going to give people more interaction with permissions of each and every app and uh, well people don't have to freak out about any app asking for their device data permission and all that you can just deny it it's really cool now the camera is pretty cool i mean it is the standard nexus camera and you can't do anything about it uh it does uh, have the standard settings nothing special these are the stuff which i'm really interested in the uh marshmallow release the pri the uh the the permission manager in which all the apps has to ask for the permission uh, every time they want it and also the uh, notification this thing the do not disturb mode which is really really cool people do not understand how important this is for most people so that's really cool and apart from a few and uh, <laughs> by few i mean a gazillion animation changes uh, this does give a, this is keeping close to the lollipop release and uh, well this is a 5 to 6 release uh, lollipop was 5 and 6 uh, it's a full version increase but it doesn't feel like a huge step but yeah it, it does have a lot of stuff under the hood so it's pretty nice now something else is the dose mode which is the dose thing in the battery settings which is pretty cool uh, and I have used this uh, by a thing now this one only activates whenever you have the phone sitting idle you're not using the phone anytime uh, and anytime I mean not even using it to check the time so that is really really important and I have tried that and it does give you a lot of time so this was something which I took a few days a few uh, well a few hours back when I was using this uh, for the testing and in the dose mode it does work as you can see the wake lock is like minimal there is no wake locks at all apart from if one or two so that is something really cool to see on uh, an android device because it does give you a very very good battery life so yeah now let's get to the end to the benchmark score now i was not able to uh, complete the benchmark score anytime and uh, not even once because that's probably because head to the benchmark score benchmark application is not uh, optimized for marshmallow yet but it will be and from what i can see uh, this is this score is without the video so i'm not going to waste time uh, trying to install uh, trying to do the benchmark again but uh, without the video 3d performance this is a score so you can probably get uh, a rough idea about the score how it will be so yeah let me show you guys a boot animation which is pretty cool which I really really like which is the marshmallow boot animation so here is the boot animation for the android marshmallow which is really really nice I mean it is a smooth 60 fps animation going on in here so that is all the things to love so yeah so there you have it now 
Marshmallow, right? This is a very very new operating system. It just released, I mean, a week ago, and it is available on devices like the Nexus 6, Nexus 5, Nexus 9, and all that. It does give you a lot of options, and uh, under the hood, there are huge huge changes. But on the custom robbing world, there's no stable G apps available right now, and it can cause quite a juddering experience because you cannot use the one of the basic uh, advantage of Android 6 like the on tap uh, Google now tap and stuff like that so yeah I'm not really going to recommend this right now but this is a really really minimal ROM and about the ROM it's really really cool to have that uh, there are a few force close issues but those are mainly because of the play services which is going on with uh, because of the g apps so i'm not going to uh, bash it for that so yeah i guess that much is it about the rom hope you guys like the video please share subscribe and like the video if you found it useful see you guys next time bye